All right, welcome, welcome back. back. Yeah, the show is interactive. We definitely want to hear from you throughout the show. So do use the hashtag Breakfast Daily for us to hear what you're thinking. The WhatsApp line is 0550-585832. Now, I have a message here. This is coming from Mel Renner. And, and uh, Mel says, good morning, City TV. I would like to uh, congratulate you on the good work that you're doing with the Easter Orphan Project. I've tried uh, effortlessly uh, to make effortlessly okay to make a donation unfortunately my network won't allow the transaction uh, to go through well um, maybe you can find a way of you know um, you know maybe write a check or something and send us yeah. the right. donation so, otherwise yeah so. okay. but we'll take your number anyway and um, yes and then we'll, we'll reach out to you we'll and see how touch. we can facilitate okay. the donation all right thank you yeah, so we have um, a conversation this morning. This morning we're going to be talking nutrition. And uh, today on the nutrition segment, of course, we always have our uh, uh, favorite nutritionist here on the show, Akosia Kunidu Yado. She's joined us again on the show this morning. We're going to have a conversation this morning that when we're looking at Easter, what are some of the healthy meals that we can have as a family? Of course, yeah. Yeah. good morning. Good morning. morning. How are you? I'm fine. All right. Happy Easter. Happy, Happy Easter, Easter to you. <laughs> yeah. So some people would say, well, is it Easter over? But no, it's still morning. <laughs> so assuming, I mean, families are getting together today. Sometimes these gatherings are impromptu. What are some of the healthy meals that people should be looking at? Um, okay, so um, Easter came in after long period of Lent and in as much as we are having Easter when we join the Muslims when it's Salah so we are joining <laughs> us they are also fasting <laughs> and so I have categorized this conversation into four main points okay and so we'll focus on replenishes one and then energy or nutrients dense foods and then healthy fluids and then healthy treats okay so the people who want to go out today is a, a mouse day mm. and and maybe have fun afraid the rain doesn't stop you mm. <laughs> you can have some information which will help you as to what to know so we start with the replenishes and when we say you are replenishing it means that you've lost something and mm. so you have to make up for it yeah. 40 days of lent is a lot mm. and even easter four days three days into easter can't make up for what you would want to do if you want to really make up but it's very important that you are guided to as to how or what to do because when you fast or when you deprive yourself of food you lose water mm. some people do dry mm. and then our muslim folks who do dry mm. too you deprive yourself of water nutrients mm. and then electrolytes which okay. are very important for the body's functioning so mm. like sodium you're losing sodium you're losing calcium so if you're a woman you are in your premenopausal age or you are even in menopause mm. and you are or you went through lent after lent which is easter mm. and even beyond you have to be conscious about nutrients you are feeding your body with because there is a conscious need for you to make sure that that's lost that was that was done by the long period of fast is taken care of mm. so calcium needed for repair formation of bones stronger bones and teeth you need calcium to make sure that it's happening you need calcium to reduce your risk of osteoporosis yeah. and there are some people enjoying easter who are pregnant women you need mm. calcium yeah. to also make sure that the bone health of that baby in you and you as well because your pelvic area you have bones and um, being part of mm. your pelvic mm. area and so you need to make sure the cause of everything that concerns your bone health is properly taken care of yeah. we have um Something, I've spoken about sodium, magnesium. Magnesium, very important as far as um, your blood pressure needs are concerned. Mm. It's Easter. You need to relax. There are people who will relax and relax and, and they will still show up tomorrow stressed up. <laughs> you need to make sure that whatever you are eating is serving you some specific benefits. Mm. It's, it's now uh, not like, okay, nobody can teach me what to eat. Somebody has learned for it. And so to tell you that, in this period of you trying to be home, there are certain foods blessed with magnesium like watermelon. Mm. That can help you as far as you taking care of those, um, that stress. You, 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 you piled up probably and running around city. I know today after the show, you may need to relax because you come back tomorrow to the hustle. And so it's very important that you don't just 
eat anything. Yeah. Don't go for the junky ones. Today, buy watermelon kakra. Yeah. And then make <laughs> sure that you enjoy mm. something that gives you specific nutrients because you're trying to replenish. Okay. And when it comes to replenishing also, it's very important that because the focus is on the loss of electrolytes, you are eating a lot of leafy greens. Okay. They are blessed, dark leafy greens. So if you are a vegetarian, the dark leafy greens available to you, boko boko mm -hmm. is there, alefu is there, ademe. If you are an akan, kontomre is there for you, turkey okay. berries or what we call yasantua, kantosi or um, kawunsusa, abedru, mm. is also there for you. Make them part of your meals. Today, instead of you going to buy that bucket of chicken, <laughs> decide to eat a bomu today and serve yourself some specific nutrients. You need to replenish the electrolytes. You don't yeah. just need to um, replenish after a fast. In as much as I sit here, if I'm done and you give me a pissy with a boom, I will love it because I've lost electrolytes <laughs> trying to um, talk about nutrition to people. So that is that for the replenishers. You can have smoothies mm. made of the leafy greens um, mm. as something that will help you as a replenisher. If you want to work out, I've said it on this show, I'll repeat again. Don't hit the gym doing hard workout stuff when you've not cemented your foundation. Mm. It's very important that you know how to prep yourself before you even try to work out. If you are not working mm. out and you've lost something and you need to replenish too, be conscious of what you are doing. Mm. Energy dense foods and balanced diet, um, four star diet. So when you talk about energy dense foods, focus should be on the four star diet where you have yeah. the staples, the animal protein and products. We have the legumes or pulses, nuts and seeds. Mm -hmm. And then we have the fruits and vegetables category and then a small part for the essential fats where we have margarine cheese and what have you forming part when we talk about fat sometimes because we think we see it as a devil mm -hmm. oh i don't like cheese mm -hmm. but there are certain cheese which are good cheddar cheese i mm -hmm. know it's your favorite yes when we're doing no. the the, no. the blending stuff <laughs> you should always bring cheddar cheese it's one of the healthiest cheese mm -hmm. on, on on earth you can have so i always say that i don't deny people of certain things i only give you healthier alternatives Mm -hmm. Because you've known margarine. You can't take margarine from me. Me sitting here as a nutritionist, you can't take it away from me. But it's up to me to read the nutritional fats, mm. know the total amount of fat sitting in there, yeah. total amount of sodium. That's something we don't do. So you should just lift the item, make sure you read the labels. A classical example, I will still use this milk. There are milks on the market. But for me as a nutritionist, I would choose vegetable fat mm. over plant fat, mm. knowing the fact that it has a lot of LDL properties. That's the plant, uh, the animal one, yeah. which can pose health to my uh, mm. risk, um, risk yeah. to my health. Mm -hmm. For instance, the average serving of milk at a meal is 40 ml. Honestly speaking, before God and you, me, I do beyond 40 ml. Because <laughs> you can't do the whole thing. Though. That, that is, is wrong. wrong. Yeah. That is wrong. I, I think you are right. Like, because no, actually. It's wrong. I mean, I because this is for, this for four people. Yeah. yeah. No. This is ideally supposed to be for, mm. for four Some people. Some people do the whole thing. I actually do it's wrong. black coffee. If it's coffee, black mm. coffee. Tea without. No, so I you know, my, my milk with the teas, meats. it's very tricky because this is healthy, but it's light. And so you'll be tempted to use Lisa more. So for my teas, I use powdered milk. Mm, okay. So that you get it, um, you get the color faster. Because if you take one heavy scoop, that will be enough. Yeah. But you can use one third of and this you and, your, and your coffee still look, look black. Yeah. So mm. I do that trick with mm. my teas. And then the milks, I do my cereals and others with it. So for the energy um, dense, I, um, broth is a classical example of something you can start to kind of unwind with. Mm. You've starved yourself, you're breaking your fast. You can have broth that is like stock from bones with some vegetables in there with emphasis on the dark leafy green. So if you can afford broccoli, why not? If you can afford any leafy green, why not? Even if you can't afford, in Ghana we don't sell dandelions. <laughs> you can just <laughs> enter your house, oh, maybe better tin monto, or I'm coming for dandelion, and you'll be given access. So whatever you are eating is very important, but mm. we should be careful on the soups and beverages mm. we take. In our part of the world, I gave the Akonhoma so I have an auntie's husband who mentioned the name who they carry the soup to him. He fetches his own soup. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> dares the, uh, do it for him. So because I, it's available, <laughs> I am tempted to 
kind of eat more than I need, but yeah. our bodies will only work with how much it needs. Mm. Whatever, if you give your body these two cups and all it needs is one mm. cup, mm. the others will be converted into something yeah. which will hurt you in return. Yeah. So you need to make sure that the kind of energy dense food you are taking, we have bad energy dense foods, yeah. that the fizzy drinks, they mm. pass for the shh yeah. ones. Mm. They Ener pass for bad dense. energy dense foods. Mm. And a good energy dense food will be watermelon juice mm. okay. that is something that is organic so healthy fluids also i quickly touch on it the fluid you are giving your body can serve you some sodium benefits potassium benefits all for your blood pressure mm. heart health mm. and also mm. give magnesium is also there it improves postmenopausal symptoms mm. and then it also helps as far as your um, your health as a female is concerned if you have migraines a lot fluids are good for you Fluids like coconut water, but I beg you, don't abuse it. Mm. One a day should work for you instead of the four bottles you are doing. And then healthy treats. This is the last. You can take uh, you can take dark chocolate mm. um, cake. That's okay. my favorite. Well, my favorite now. Okay. And then you twist it with Greek yogurt. So, well, he's a chocolate. I, I, I wasn't so. a fan of cakes, but a doctor friend of mine made me fall in love with it. Are you out to me here? Low no, sugar. Ah, okay. Low sugar. <laughs> and then the fact that it has cocoa yeah. in there serves yeah. you some benefits. Mm. So it's my duty to tell you healthy alternatives. I take chocolate cake, eat chocolate cake, because for me as a woman, I am concerned about mm. my gut health. There are women who are always uncomfortable with the extra fat line in here. Taking something like Greek yogurt will help you as far as reducing the bloating you experience, mm. the constipation you have, and even with diarrhea, though it's a diary um, um, product, it helps you as far as working on your gastric health is concerned. And then it also boosts on your metabolism. Mm. So it's very good, strengthens your bones. And resveratrol in cocoa, found in red wine. I always say, <laughs> if, you, if, you don't, if you don't want to take red wine, you're keen on resveratrol, it's in cocoa. So go and eat that chocolate and stuff. So far as your heart health is concerned, and it helps you as a woman, as far as your outlook, your skin, and your glow, and everything that has to do with you is also concerned. So chocolates are good for women. Don't abuse them. Make sure you have healthy recipes out of them. Okay, so I mean, today being Easter, I mean, what are some of the meals? I mean, you've mentioned, for example, going to buy some watermelon. That's a great yeah. snack. Or if you want to sit down and eat it as your as your big dinner, I guess you could do that too. Yeah. But well, what are some of the meals? Okay, so um, we are Ghanaians. You can have your chicken soup with your mm. fufu. Mm. But mm. my focus, so the focus is on replenishing, making sure it's energy dense, but the right energy dense. Mm. And then the fluid also is something to write home about. Okay. And the treat, your treat can be okra on that fufu. So let's say you want to have a bowl oh. of, see, we have snails oh. there, we have mushrooms yeah. there. We, you can have, this is like pure, yeah. purely organic. This is something that has nothing frozen in there. Wow. Yeah, so wow. you have this in yeah. there, you have garlic in there, you have the paposhito yeah. in there. And this is something you can have. So you can start by having a, a green smoothie so I can see or some a broth, bee, just I can see like some the starter. Snails. We should learn to eat starters. Starters yeah. shouldn't be something very, very mm -hmm. big. It can be even coconut water, watermelon juice, or you having the green smoothie, and then you go for your Ghanaian cuisine. This is live soup, yeah. very healthy as far as nutrient dense is concerned. Garden it's, it's eggs, soup. okra. Yeah. If your meat is not even yeah. enough, okra has uh, protein. Um, and so my soul is this, happy is just watching the picture. this is something that will help you. And then mushrooms, top notch as far as protein yeah. is concerned. But it is very low as far as calorie count is concerned. Mm. So how you eat our Ghanaian meals, we think the carbs are not good mm. for us. But if you do the right portion, this fufu, for me, I need my fixed size. You need your fixed size. Koku, you need your fixed size. You yeah. don't need more. And then mm. more of the soup. And then a bit of the protein in and mm, in here mm. and there with okra and then some garden eggs. And you'll be giving mm, yourself good a good go. treat. And for the jollof lovers in Ghana, <laughs> jollof is always present. At, Especially uh, on a holiday like yes, this. Yes, so you can have um, jollof rice with some grilled chicken on the side mm. and then have some plain salad. If you are not a lover of plain salads, instead of going for the mayonnaise, the ketchups, and which makes them junky, and then in the long run, Ghanaian produce... Ghanaian salad. Ghanaian <laughs> salad. Yeah. That breaks to Ghanaian you. Salad. You can, with this plain salad, if you can't go plain like this, you can add a bit of sardine mm. to it, and then olive oil or avocado. 
Okay. Avocado, you can whip it into a cream that will give you the mayonnaise feeling, but it will serve It'll you with healthy. some health benefits like improving on your cholesterol health. What about coconut oil? Coconut oil, you're very good too. But I, I always say that hmm, it depends on where you are getting the thing from. You okay. want to, if you have a trusted source, why mm. not? It's, it's, it's good. If you have olive, if you have canola, at a point it even became a point that canola too was um, mm. also had this, this and that. Tomorrow we we'll, we'll wake up and they will say coconut oil too is not good. <laughs> so until so then, I will always preach what is current and available. So if coconut oil works for you, why not? But just for you, I prefer you doing it plain, but it's difficult for some people. Mm. So instead of the mayonnaise, which which sits on your spoon like um, pampa, oh. which is on they are unhealthy. Anything mayonnaise that that is healthy should be porry. Mm. But it okay. sits so yes. sticky it's a thick because yeah. something has been added to give yeah. it that texture, and it poses yeah. a lot of health risks to you eventually. Mm. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. About yeah. the, fufu. The, 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 the photo of the fufu alone, I mean, I'm looking at all the goodness. And in look there. at the weather with the fufu. Correct, but snails, <laughs> mushrooms. Snails, mushrooms. This, oh, this is a man. Bowl Garden of eggs. Yeah. I mean, it's brilliant. This is eat Ghana. Yeah. yeah. It's brilliant. What's I mean, cooking? You should cook be, this on Tuesday. For me, it would be minus the snails. Oh, you don't uh, eat snails? I don't, I don't do snails. Oh, snails, snails are yeah. full My of family goodness. doesn't eat snails. Uh. But the mushrooms. The garden eggs. You can do dry fish. Is it in dry place fish. Of the, yeah, there's yeah. yeah. fish in there as well. Yeah. There's yeah. dry fish in yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. 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 So take the snail out, enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, so this is something you can have. Um, Thank you. And then it will save you lots Fantastic. of benefits. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. How, how do people reach out to you? So you on Instagram, you can you? follow. I'll try and share this because I'm also excited about the fufu. <laughs> you can follow me or send me a message on Instagram at the nutritionist Akusia, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, nutritionist Akusia. And mm. you can WhatsApp me, not to discuss fufu, but nutrition <laughs> on 0243 350206. 350206. The, the things I get on my. Uh, uh, yeah, I have no idea. Please, strictly nutrition. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Akosia. So we'll be speaking I think, with yeah. Kunedu Yadam. Like, she is a, um, a state registered nutritionist and uh, she's been helping us to get into this conversation about the important or well, good food, healthy foods that we can have this Easter. Yeah, we do have some messages. It was coming from Larry. Larry in Dansuma says, The fufu bowl, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Larry, I know how you feel because <laughs> as I was watching that thing, I was like, you know what, this show should end now so that one can escape. But where are you going to get a fufu from? Oh, I have sources. You have a plug. I have sources. You, you get plugs. <clears throat> you 